There we go. Vision is a London based, no profitable charitable organization founded in 2008 to help young people and women better their life through education and training. We work throughout London as well as international projects that currently run that currently run in a Democratic Republic of Congo in, as, in association with uh, our international NGO calls RDC Vision. What we do is education and uh, development project. Yeah, and uh, to Democratic Republic of Congo in association with our international NGO called RDC Vision, our education and development project. What we run in the DRC is supply disadvantaged school with a basic supply hospital with a basic material, we supply a hospital with a basic uh, medical equipment. Uh, we offer free training for young people in a various areas such as hairdressing, uh, sport, computer lesson, and English classes. So what we uh, message to our communities, if you are there listening, we invite you to this organization because what we're doing at the moment such a good, great things to our communities and such a things that young people can learn. So if you are talented young people, please, please visit us to our website, which is www.trcvision.com. So we are calling on you from all, all area. If you are a student or you work or you know anything you do, please get in touch with us. We have so many things to do, so we can't do it alone. We're inviting you to join us so we can work together. Watching, make sure you attended that event. It's going to be a nice event. We're going to discuss many issues in that event: uh, education, development, everything, anything you want uh, want to, to 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 discuss. Just feel free to come. It's a free event. We're not charging anything. Uh, drink, uh, snack is free. Just make sure you come on that day, the seventh Saturday, the seventeenth of March, uh, between a five p.m. to eight p.m. Make sure you come and come have your say on that date. <laughs> yeah, welcome to DRC Vision again on today's show, Saturday, the, the 4th uh, February 2012. So before we start our show, uh, just like I say, that DRC Vision is a London-based, no profit or charitable organization founded in 2008, 2008 to help young people and women better their life through education development. We work through London as well as international projects that currently run in DRCs. And uh, we, with our international NGO called RDC Vision, our education and development. So here in London, we help young people as well. So we're inviting young people in all sectors. If you have experience, with that experience, join us. DRC Vision need young people to work together, especially on the media side. If you are very good in media, why don't you visit us on www.drcvision.com or if you are uh, good with the uh, uh, admin work, we, we, we like to hear from you. Just join us and so many things, so many things is coming on the DRC vision just join us so we can work together so just like I said don't forget on the 17th of March 2012 we have a talk show on the side of BBC Television Centre we're inviting parents and young people to come and join us and have their says as well about education and development make sure you're there 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. on that day is a Saturday so apart from that just uh, before we go on to move on to the, uh, different things just follow us on www.drc vision or on Facebook DRC Youth Vision on Twitter at DRC Vision. And now we're going to show you some clip of young people in a community. They were at Waltham Stowe with Inesh. Uh, we're born UK's first solo art show in aid of children with cancer in the UK. Like to present yourself and tell them a little bit what you do and what you're doing here. Uh, hi, I'm Dinesh, and uh, we're basically doing this show for a charity, and the charity is clearly called Children with Cancer UK. Uh, what we are trying to do here is basically raise some money for the children who are suffering from cancer, and we're trying our level best to 
uh, do a bit uh, that we can for this beautiful kids and that's supporting children with cancer. I'm a big fan of art, so I'm really, really enjoying this exhibition. But let's have Dinesh talking a little bit about your artwork here. Uh, well, to start with this piece of mine, which uh, mm -hmm. actually means ballerina. Uh, she's basically dancing and the light is flowing. I, I've chosen this particular uh, character, uh, this particular subject, is because uh, I love the way uh, the body of yeah. a ballerina looks when the light falls in on and the way the grey comes out and the shadows fall, that's, that's something uh, uh, it's very interesting for me. She looks so and gracious as well. Yeah, so that's the reason I've chosen this particular uh, piece. I mostly work with ballerinas, I love ballerinas, so yeah. I, I really uh, adore them. I See think, that one uh, here as well? Yeah, yeah, that's another one uh, that's a pencil work. Uh, this one, of course, is charcoal plus mm. acrylic. Mm. Uh, that one is uh, basically a ballerina uh, dancing again. Uh, well, there is not much of shadow, but nevertheless, it's a uh, detailed pencil work. Obviously, the light is still falling on her. Yeah, yeah it's not a night time. It's in, instead uh, instead of night, which we usually see a ballerina dancing in a, in a, on a stage. Here, she is actually performing uh, outside in light, probably in the morning. So, for a change, I did uh, contrast. Uh, now I would want to take you to another work of mine, which is uh, one of this my most favorite. Dramatic. Yeah, a dramatic, but at the same time, it, it really represents uh, the title of this show that is Born. Uh, the reason I've chosen this is because what I personally believe is that uh, Jesus Christ was actually born on the cross when he was crucified. Uh, it might be a critical subject and I might not know much to really <laughs> talk on Jesus Christ but nevertheless this is my personal opinion um, so no offense uh, I believe Jesus Christ was actually born on a crucifixion uh, on the cross itself because if it hasn't been uh, uh, this crucifixion I don't think we would be talking about Jesus Christ in the first place so mm -hmm. that is how in my uh, limited knowledge uh, <clears throat> I believe that Jesus Christ was actually born on the cross and thank God for his teaching and I really appreciate what he has done. I really, really respect Jesus Christ. Um, now I would take you to another subject it's one that I've chosen. One. Yeah, I've just, uh, it, it's, it's again, it's clear to make out that it's a baby um, and it also talks about the same subject. Uh, born and here I've just used plenty of colors they are mixing into each other and somehow they are showing uh, they're bringing out the brightness it's, it's bringing out the real character of a baby which is full of colors full of brightness and ready to face the world and is there a reason why you just chose blue red and yellow or is it just you just want to like strong uh, yes the reason uh, interesting question by the way uh, the reason i've actually <laughs> chosen this uh, particular pattern and not uh, trying anything else is yeah. because i believe these are the basic colors yeah. uh, so if you have these four colors you can actually bring out all almost all the colors so a baby mm. has everything that uh, you know she needs or baby needs to face the world he or she whatever um, and uh, I believe that uh, colors are an example of what you stand for, what your character is, and you're all about uh, facing the world and showing them what, that you rock. So that's the beginning uh, for all of us, and uh, that's the beginning for uh, this baby, by the way, who's ready to face the world and who's born, finally. <laughs> uh, the, <coughs> the other subject here that we have uh, this art is very simple, but at the same time, lots of colors in it. Um, it's actually a sea world. In the middle, obviously, it's the white whale, um, the big, big animal. <laughs> and uh, along with that, there are all different sea creatures. Um, that looks quite uh, good. I think mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. The next subject uh, that we cool. talk about is uh, 
is again one of my uh, favorite, uh, and again I've chosen ballerinas. I love ballerinas. It's a male one. This one is it? It's a guy. Or? Uh, it's a female again. It's a female. Is there yeah. a reason why they're only females? Because females are better in I ballet, have. or <laughs> you must agree? Uh, I have no <laughs> doubts that females have the most beautiful bodies. Uh, that's that's what I feel, and um, that's my right to <laughs> feel like that. Um, and, and that's the reason I work mostly with females and no offense. Uh, here, uh, for a change, uh, I did something uh, which I usually don't do. That is to uh, make her face like a clown. Mm. How does the red rope work? Is it like anything yeah, significant? Or there is actually a significance, uh, uh, and it might not look that good, but. Uh, it's it's about uh, something that happened in my life. Um, <clears throat> I hope uh, the person I'm about to talk about would not be uh, hearing <laughs> me uh, or watching this. Yeah, yeah. and uh, if at all she is watching this, then I'm really sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Is that uh, it's about uh, a girl I knew, and uh, uh, I thought that for a short period in my life. Um, Due to my own mistake, I apologize first of all to start with. Uh, I did uh, end up uh, binding her into my own ropes. So this rope is my oh. rope. And uh, she was not a clown. She was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Um, not just physically, but also with heart. Uh, I was fortunate to be with her. Whatever little time I spent with her was... Which is awesome. Isn't it like uh, all painters to include their own personal life? They must do somehow. I totally believe, in my own opinion, yeah. um, I believe that unless you bring what your gut says, which is the reality mm -hmm. in you, yeah. uh, it's all fake. So if you don't satisfy, see, as an artist, if I don't satisfy myself, then what is the use? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, if I don't, if, if I'm doing this and it makes me happy, meaning that I'm doing it out of my own gut, yeah. out of my own soul. So when I'm doing this painting, I'm actually uh, doing it for myself first. And it makes and it more emotional and real as well, I think, you know, when you I, look at a painting and it's like... Absolutely. I think that makes sense, right? It does. <laughs> so this one here? Yeah, and this one here is uh, again uh, one of... Uh, subject that uh, critics would want to talk about, hopefully. <laughs> well, back home critics would. But, uh, well, uh, nevertheless, uh, this painting here uh, is acrylic, where I've tried uh, to show that uh, earth that is here in the center, yeah. and these, um, these things around the earth are basically the parasites. You, now you can call these parasites as human beings, us, and we are trying to simply suck the best out of uh, earth and just use it for ourselves. So we've been selfish for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. And uh, we should stop that. And uh, this again represents Bond as well because there is just one human being out of all who is ready to do something different. Yeah. Who is trying to normally uh, support the earth but who's trying not to suck the blood out of Everything, earth yeah. if you notice this painting all of them are sucking the blood these parasites are yeah, sucking the blood mm -hmm. yeah and here is the pool of blood that has been sucked out of uh, earth yeah. and earth is losing its uh, itself yeah mm -hmm. the life out of earth has been squeezed out so there is this one entity who's trying so this this painting means a lot i mean it it has a, a lot of, of meaning behind it. You know yes, I mean? absolutely. That's what it really uh, does. You can see it as well. Like. So it says that, yes, somebody is born and somebody is ready mm. to do so. We should all think about it and try. stand for it and try and support the earth and do what is the right thing to do. Mm. Well, that's what I believe. So true. Yeah. Should we move on to the other side of the world? See what we have yes, here. Let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's go to the other side of the world. So how about when you left here? What does that represent? Well, uh, all of these four paintings to start with are uh, of uh, one personality that has a deep impact in my uh, whole entire life, who changed my life.